Hello, my name is Christian Melendez. I am Director of Sales for North America for NIO Technologies. We are an agrobotics company, and this is Oreo. Um, he's one of our newest robots. Um, we're starting to take retail orders and we'll be delivering here in the middle of 2023. Um, one thing that makes our technology special, and it's true with all our robots, whether it's the smallest or the largest, is they all have three key factors. They're all electric, they're all autonomous, and they all have built-in RTK GPS. That's a normal tech. Normally that technology is reserved for really, really high value crops or growers with a lot of capital. Now a smaller grower can participate and have the accuracy of RTK technology. So that's something that I'm particularly proud of. Uh, this unit, Oreo, is designed for field crops. Everything from lettuce, broccoli, sugar beets, carrots, onions. Um, and um, it's it, it will adapt. It can do 40 inch beds, 80 inch beds. Um, again, it's fully electric and we're good for about seven to 10 hours of running time depending on soil conditions. And charging time is about eight hours. You can flop the batteries out in about half an hour so you can keep it running on a long summer day. Uh, being that it's fully electric, um, there's an electric motor at each of the axles. So it has four wheel drive and four wheel steering, uh, less moving parts in a, an electric engine. So there's less weight, less soil compaction. Um, and that's something that the growers are very, very keen on. Um, we have technology from, we are a robot company, we're not a tool company, so we partner with a lot of companies and they provide us our technology. This unit has cult interline weeding and that really allows us to get super precise to the plant and and for an organic grower that doesn't use herbicides, well, it's, it's, a, it's a godsend. And for a conventional grower, it allows them to save money because let's say they were doing a six inch herbicide line now they can do a four inch herbicide or a three inch because they can get that much more accurate. Any grower that has problems with weeding or wants to do seeding, we're not a tr we're not a tractor, we're an autonomous tool carrier. So you can seed, you can weed. In the future, we're hoping to integrate uh, pesticide applications. If you're a farmer and you're looking to get more precise um, work in your field, we're, we're ideal for that. This is the way the world's going. And um, we like to say that we're the tip of the spear. So we, th there's a three-step process. Usually what we'll do is we'll do a demo. We'll take a robot out to the field and we'll demonstrate it. Uh, next step is they'll pay us on a per acre basis and we'll do it. And then usually after a half a year or a year, the grower will just end up buying a unit. Now we do have a lot of customers that don't want to deal with the technology. So they'll just pay us and they've been customers are two, three years and we go weed for them on a weekly or monthly basis. And we do it that way. So we, we definitely adjust to the grower. Um, where you have one operator controlling multiple units. And kind of like when you go into Best Buy, you have the guy in front of all the computer screens. So you'll have an operator in the field with an iPad and he's viewing cameras in real time on the robots and he can monitor four to six units at one time. This is the tip of the spear. We need, we need help in agriculture. We gotta get more efficient. We have to get more effective. And the only way we're gonna do this is doing it this way with, with, um, with robots and artificial intelligence in the field.